heard you shouldn't mess with him. I'm pretty good with faces, and yours is new around here. So spit it out. Who are you? Name's Jax. All right, then. Next question. Faction. Which one do you belong to? I don't belong to anyone. Better not be lying to me. Why would I lie about that? Guess we'll see. Just remember, I'm gonna be watching you real close. Do you interrogate everybody like this? We have to be extra careful these days. There's been a few undesirables hanging around the fort. And they could be anywhere. But you seem to check out. I could smell those bastards a mile away. Bottom line, though, we need to find them soon. Fort's had enough trouble lately. Who are these people you're talking about? They're the ones who tried to kill Rat. You must have seen their propaganda. It's all over the fort. You know, the outlaw flyers. That's why Fenris sent me to speak to you. Ah, oh, I get it. Trying to get into the upper district, huh? Works for me. Can always use a good volunteer. If there's anything you need to know, fire away. What do you know about the attempt on Rat's life? Didn't Fenris explain everything? Uh, all right, I'll give you the short version. The outlaws managed to plant a bomb in the upper district, but the whole scheme fell apart. After that, Rat had the area closed off. Only people we know we can trust are allowed in. Ever since, that propaganda has been showing up all over the fort. Wish I could tell you more, but that's all I know. How can we find the source of the outlaw propaganda? Well, the bastards who spread this stuff did leave some clues behind. Such as? Here's one of the flyers they've been putting up. And here's one of the nails they used to hang them. Take a good look at them. See if you notice the same things I did. About those clues. Go on, look closely at the flyer and nail. The clues are right there. Looks like this nail was made in a forge. 
Good, good. My conclusion exactly. And the flyer. And the flyer? What do you make of that? The back of the flyer is kind of interesting. That's right. It gives us a concrete lead to follow. The starting point, at least. You spotted the same two clues I did. The nail was made in a forge, and the propaganda flyer has a drink menu on the back. That's some nice attention to detail. I'm impressed. Based on these facts, a couple of possible suspects come to mind. Chloe the innkeeper, and last the blacksmith. Either of them could have had something to do with this. They'd never talk to a guard, but they might be more open with an outsider like you. I'd like you to question them both. I'll be keeping an eye on who's going in and out of Chloe's tavern. We clear? Crystal clear. Good. Then we'll meet up again when you're done talking to them. seen this before? It's one of those pieces of paper advertising Baxter's goons, isn't it? That's right. And what do you expect me to do with it? These are your drink menus. Huh. Well, that explains a lot. What's that? I knew someone was stealing my drink menus. I have to get new ones made all the time. It was killing me. I was about to start just writing the damn prices on the blackboard. Having said that, I'm pretty sure no menus have gone missing in the last week or so. So you probably won't find the culprits here. Was that it? If so, I need to get back to work. I'm sorry I can't help you. You'll just have to keep looking. You think so? I think you're full of shit. Need something? Are these nails your handiwork? Let me see. Hmm. Could be. Been a while since I made nails. But the longer ones there, those might be mine. Stopped making them because they just kept getting stolen. Why are you asking? Somebody is stealing nails from you? Not anymore. Stop making them. Don't have the time anyhow. Where'd you get them? They were used to hang up outlaw propaganda. So does that mean I'm a suspect? And if you are? 
Aw, oh, it's just about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I like it here. Like being the smith. Why would I go over to them outlaws? Way they treat metal. All that artless welding. No pride in it. Can't abide it. Nope. So I keep my distance from them. <laughs> Sorry I can't help. You. Never did catch the thieves. They knew what they were doing. If that's the case, I suppose I'll have to keep searching. Hope you find them. Good luck. I saw a woman of such beauty. To love her I thought was my duty. I left my work, I had to rest. I've spoken to Chloe. And? Did she have anything to do with those flyers? She claims someone stole those drink menus from her. She was even thinking about getting rid of the menus for good. Would save her from having to make new ones all the time. Hmm, sounds like she isn't involved. I've spoken with Lass. So? Do you think he's involved? Doesn't look like it. Someone stole a batch of nails from his workshop. Same type he used to hang up the flyers. There's not much to go on. At least now we know for sure the nails were his. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. We're only leads and they're up in smoke. I didn't have much luck either. I staked out the tavern hoping to see something suspicious, but nothing. A couple of people acting a little shady, but no one's stealing menus. Now we must have missed something, so let's go over the details again. Everything we know about the Flyers so far. Both our suspects seem to be innocent. The real culprit stole the flyers and nails from them. Right. It doesn't look like those robberies happened too recently. And no one saw the thief, which means we're not dealing with some small-time crook. They know what they're doing. What else do we have? The flyers were made and hung up using common items from around the fort. Interesting point when you think about it probably means we're dealing with someone who lives here, not some outsider. Anything else? Looks like the outlaws were behind it all. That much is obvious. Of course, someone could be framing them, but... Eh, I don't buy that. So, to sum up, the people behind the flyers, and probably the attempt on Rat's life, too, likely to be outlaws living in the fort and they're not a bunch of amateurs hmm. so what do we do now gotta admit i don't have a freaking clue we're out of options here the only thing left is to catch them in the act so we just wait well we can do a sweep of the fort once it's dark and hope we get lucky not a great plan, but unless you can think of anything else... Can't say I can. And that's what we'll do. Let me know when you're ready. Let's start our night patrol. Kinda needs to be nighttime for us to go on night patrol, don't you think? Find a bed or rent a room with the sleepy traveler and get some shut-eye. Then come back when it's dark. empty too. What about...
handle on it. That thing is going to happen to me. Let's start our night patrol. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. How about we go off the beaten track? We can get a good look at what's going on behind the houses, too. Remember, we're not dealing with morons here. They're not gonna come strutting down the main road. Man. Well, that was certainly, uh... Pipe down. There's someone back there. It's mine. Okay, I'll wait here. Just be ready to back me up if he tries to make a break for it. Hey, you! Come over here! Uh, what? Are you talking to me? Don't play dumb. What are you doing back here? I'm just, uh, taking care of some private business. I know you're the one who tried to kill Rat. Don't try to deny it. What? No! Why would I do that? I've been a berserker for six years, and I've never done anything wrong, I swear. Then you won't mind telling me what you're doing here. I... well, the thing is... I... Ah, fuck it. Okay, I'll come clean. I was, uh, just doing my business, you know, taking a leak through the window. You what? Look, the guy who lives here tried it on with my woman. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Huh. I guess I'd be pretty pissed, too. This might be taking it too far, though. Still, I believe you. So get out of here before I change my mind. Bye, Ragnar. Thank you. You won't see me again. You can stop sneaking around. Well, that was a you. big, hot stream and nothing. And as colorful as it might be, pissing through someone's window isn't quite against the law. Let's forget the whole thing and keep moving. Cause when you gotta go, you gotta go. We'll be watching you! Keep your eyes peeled. Any tiny detail could be significant. You hear that? Let's take a look. Those two look mighty suspicious, don't you think? You should get in closer, see what they're talking about. Good idea. We should listen in first. Move in until you're within earshot. Wait for my signal. Somebody sneaking like that must be up to no good. What are you doing sneaking around here? What are you doing sneaking around here? It's really not necessary. What are you doing sneaking around here? Worried you'll be caught? Not interested. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on, sugar. Worried you'll be caught? Give me some sugar. Hey!
I think we've heard enough. Stop! You there! What are you doing, asshole? You totally cock-blocked me. Listen to yourself. Got more booze than sense in your head. Hey, take it easy. This is between me and the lady. So go fuck yourself. I ever see you talking to a woman like that again, I'll slam your face into the ground. And that's if you're lucky. Fuck, man. I get it. I get it. Maybe I did have a few too many. Get out of here and sleep it off. And think about what you're doing with your life. Go on, scram! Scumbag like that's always worth keeping an eye on. I won't forget his face. But as fucked up as that was, let's take a look around the smithy. That's where they got the nails. Maybe they'll be back for more. Can't believe something like that could happen here. You never see that kind of thing in Goliath. Maybe we'll catch a break and find someone at the blacksmith. We better. After that, I'm out of ideas. At least it hasn't been a total waste. Plenty going on tonight. Just nothing that has anything to do with those flyers. Starting to think we won't find anyone connected to this whole mess tonight. Still, let's not give up. Sweep's not over yet. Look, over there, right by the smithy. You deal with this one. Go and speak to him. No problem. Good. Just don't stir up any shit if you don't have to. I'll keep watch and make sure he doesn't run. You there! What? What? Petty theft, is it? Are you fucking kidding me? You're not even a pissant guard. I'm not telling you anything. Now get the fuck out of here. Tell me what I want to know. Unless you want me to kick your fucking teeth in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like your attitude. Come on then, give me your best shot. Pull your punches, do you? Whew. Just tell me what you're doing here. Unless you want another fist in the face. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. But you're gonna be disappointed. I wasn't trying to steal anything. I was just looking for my smokes. I know I dropped them around here somewhere. I've been sitting in the tavern all night. Come out here for a quick smoke and drop the fucking pack. And that's when you came along. You expect me to believe that crap? Believe what you want. That's what happened. We can kick the shit out of each other as many times as you like, and it won't change anything. I'm no thief. Fine. Just get out of here. Nah, don't worry. I'm heading right back to Chloe's place and the sweet embrace of about a dozen bottles. Gonna get hammered tonight! <laughs> Another dead end. Let's just finish our sweep and head back to the tavern. You could have helped me there. I knew you could handle him. Besides, I found the pack of smokes he lost. I prefer to think of violence as a last resort. I'm not sure I would have taken your approach there. Anyway, quit your whining. We should head back. Uh, this isn't gonna be our lucky night. Unless we suddenly stumble over the people we're looking for. I'm starting to lose hope. 
<laughs> Me too. But you have all the makings of a great berserker. Nice work out there. Anyway, we're nearly there. Seen anything else that looks fishy? Can't say I have. God damn it. Me neither. the tavern again. Think I'll go in and soak up some of the atmosphere. Ask around. Maybe I'll hear something. That's about all we can do. The whole night was a waste of time. Are you giving up? Maybe. I don't know. We should split up for now anyway. Maybe we'll have more luck that way. Other than that, I'm all out of ideas. Anyway, let me know if you see or hear anything that seems even slightly relevant. Anything. Right then. See you later. There's my way, and there's the wrong way. I have to talk to you. Not here, though. Follow me. What do you want from me? No, 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 not now. Not here. Follow me. We need to go somewhere quiet. I'll explain everything then. can talk here. What's with all this secrecy? Listen, you're drawing a lot of attention to yourself, running through the camp accusing everyone of working with the outlaws. It's not exactly subtle. So do the business. You're looking for the outlaws responsible for that propaganda. Am I right? Go on. <laughs> oh, are you barking up the wrong tree, pal? The Claws aren't outlaws, but we're, uh, sympathetic to their cause. You're on the path to winning the Berserker's trust. And I have an offer for you.
What are the claws? And then all in good time. You'll see soon enough. Just listen to my offer, okay? What exactly are you offering? I want you to work for us. Don't worry, it won't involve bloodshed. We claws prefer a more subtle approach. We want you to cozy up to the berserkers. Pass us any information you find out. But we'll pay well. A lot of shards to be earned. And just to show we're serious, here's a small advance. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Trust me. Think about it, alright? If you'll join us, meet me in my kitchen. If not, well, we never had this meeting, understand? Just don't take too long making up your mind. I found one of the outlaws who've been putting up flyers. At last, some good news. Well, who is it? His name's Skinny. Skinny? The cook? I find that hard to believe. If he's one of them, they've wormed their way in much deeper than I thought. Whatever he wants from you, play along. I'm sure he's just the tip of the iceberg. The fort must be crawling with outlaws. We have to get to the bottom of this, no matter how deep it goes. So do whatever it takes to find out who's pulling the strings. Good work. Oh yeah, I'm all smiles. Want to talk about it? Ah, just a shitty Not assignment. Now. Hey, you're the customer. I'm in. I'll work for you. Ah, I didn't think you'd decide so quickly. Glad to have you aboard. Okay, listen up. Before I take you to our hideout and make introductions, I need something. I need evidence that I can trust you. Like what? I need you to, uh, <laughs> get your hands dirty. We need to know you're prepared to take risks for us and have some thieving skills. No problem. What do you want me to steal? I want you to steal a ring. Just a ring? Oh, no, 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 no. Not just any old ring. It's a valuable piece that belongs to a wealthy trader who lives in the upper district. He won't miss it. How do I get it? Well, it shouldn't be a problem. You see, as a cook, I have access to the upper district. I collect the ingredients from my kitchen there. I know this trader has a secret entrance into his house. 
a kind of escape route. That is your way in. There's a device on the outside of his house that'll open the path for you. It should be simple. At night, access the secret entrance, sneak into the house, and steal the traitor's signet ring. Got it? Come and see me when you're done. Oh, uh, <laughs> nearly forgot. The device needs a key. Lucky for you, I already made a copy without him noticing. Lucky indeed. Well, we claws like to be well prepared. Okay, well I'm out. Good luck! See you when the job's done! Stop! The you think I can't see you? You have no business here. Skinny's keys seem to work. Doors open. Should probably lock it again. Got it. I should take the ring to Skinny. Should probably lock it again. I stole the ring for you. Fantastic, but it's not for me. This ring's your ticket into our world, so uh, keep it for now. By the way, 
You did close the secret passage, right? Wouldn't be good if someone saw it open. What do you think? This ain't amateur hour. <laughs> I didn't think it was. You'll make a fine addition to our little gang of thieves. Now, uh, come with me. Time to introduce you to someone. Where are we going? Uh, no questions, just follow me. I'll show you the door, but uh, you have to go through it alone. Claws work solo, see that's how it works. Nobody knows I tested you. So she has a last word. If she thinks you're trustworthy, well my friend, you are in. Listen pal, I hate this vague bullshit. Who's she? I said no questions, didn't I? Just be patient. You'll see soon enough. Almost there. This is your hiding place? This? <laughs> of course not. See the trap door there on the floor? Now let me unlock it for you. Okay, it's all yours. In you go. Just don't forget to close the tunnel back up when you leave. See you around. Hopefully. Wait, aren't you coming? Nope. You have to do this alone. Good luck. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Open. I'm Yasma. But before you say a word, I have to get this out. I don't want to know who you are. I don't want to know your name, and I don't care where you came from. Remember that, and we'll get along just fine. Haven't we met before? I don't know, and I don't care either. The Claws tend to disappear and never come back. They join other factions or end up dead. I've lost too many people I cared about. So I don't have any friends, and I don't care to make any. You don't seem surprised to see me. You being here means someone from the Claws vouched for you and showed you where our hideout is. You're not just here for your health. You've proven yourself to earn your place here. So what happens now? Well, if you're here, you would have had orders to steal something, right? Whatever that is, give it to me. Skinny said I could keep the ring. Right up until I asked for it. This ring is insurance. It has your fingerprints on it. That means if you blow our cover, you'll be going down with us. Now hand it over. Good. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe for you. We wouldn't want anyone to find it with your fingerprints on it. That'd be a shame. I'd give them an excuse to lock you up. Now, why are you really here? Skinny talked me into coming. You wouldn't be here if you hadn't followed him of your own volition. Now tell me the truth. Why are you here? I'm here to earn some shards. That, I'd believe. But it's still not the reason why you're here. I want to join you. That may be true, but that's not why you're here. Now tell me the truth. I'm disappointed. I know Wolf sent you to take down our network. You knew? Of course. We're the Claws. We know everything, see everything, and hear everything. Never underestimate us. If you knew that, then why'd you bring me here? I arranged this little test and sent Skinny to administer it. We hope to win you over so you join our cause. 
To show you I trust you, you can leave again. Alive. Tell me more about yourself. When we get to know each other better, I will. Take this. Propaganda leaflets. What am I supposed to do with them? They're proof that you found us. We've set up some old ruins near the fort to make it look like our hideout. Take these leaflets to Wolf. Tell him you found our camp. Then send him over to the decoy in the ruins. Do that, and it'll take the heat off us for a while. Then I'll answer all your questions. Should probably lock it again. Thanks, Chloe. Should be enough. Free. I found the outlaw's hideout. You're absolutely sure? Yeah. Where is it? Those old ruins just outside the fort. Looks like they've already abandoned it, but I found these propaganda materials lying around. That's it? They didn't leave any other clues? Not that I saw. Damn it all! They slipped through our fingers again! I think I know the ruins you mean. I'll have them searched again! It looked like they left in a hurry. Probably some time ago. Well, we already knew these people were smart. They must have realized we were on their trail. It seems they stopped their propaganda operation a while back. Hopefully that means we've seen the last of them. It's not like we can keep the upper district closed forever anyways. I'll talk to Fenris and tell him we should give back access to anyone who had it before. Ah, but listen to me babbling about protocol. This is a good day! We can finally put this whole business behind us. And I'm gonna make sure Fenris knows that's mostly down to you. Here's part of the bounty we offered. You've earned it. Why only part? Well, you did find their hideout, but not the actual people responsible. If you'd done that, you could have taken the whole lot. But hey, this is still a time to celebrate. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. See you around. 